What's going on guys, this is Burrs, and today we're gonna to talk about the Slumber Shack 4 and the Roadhouse tarp from Slumber Shack. Did I say that right? I got the Roadhouse tarp and I got the Shake Shack. I wanna keep, I keep calling, I wanna call it the uh, Shake Shack, but it's the Slumber Shack 4 uh, tent. And these are sold separately, but I thought that if I combine them, I would create a really nice setup that could pretty much do anything. You could be completely dry when you are underneath here, and then you could come underneath and you could do cooking and stuff in here if it's a uh, really bad weather. So that was my initial thoughts as to how to use this with this combination. So let me get down to some of the specifics here. So let's first talk about the uh, tarp. I like the tarp, I think it's a reasonable price at about a hundred bucks. And it's pretty big. As you can see, I got the crew cab ram, and it covers about half the back uh, door and all the way back. I could I could bring it back further if I wanted to, but um, just kind of you know test things before you use them. So that's where we're at right now, and pretty high. And you can do lots of different configurations with it. But this is the configuration we came up with as far as like just creating a completely um, you know bomb-proof setup to live in if there's some sort of weather or whatever. So I like that, I like all the guy out points it has. I like it. As far as the uh, tent goes, it's a little bit of a different story as usual. You know, four is three, three is two, two is one as far as capacity goes, comfortable capacity. You can see I got three setups here and this is a four person tent, so I never recommend if it says four to put four people in it because it's just not going to work comfortably. But three people fit very comfortably in here. We have super heavy poles. This is not something you're backpacking in, obviously. Super heavy poles, a nice uh, connection point here, and uh, everything kind of lines up well. The one thing I will say is I'm just not a huge fan of how this connects down here. You know, they could have just made a little connector pole, you know, hole in the pole down on the bottom like normal. I don't know. Just me, not a fan. There's also not a lot of guy out points, or if any. So you can't really tie this thing down super, super well. I haven't found any guy out points. Uh, I kind of created my own right here just to get the back to pull out a little bit. Oops, just get the back to pull out a little bit. Um, there's one here. I'm just not sure why there's not one on the other side. As far as the rest of it here, you have tape seams. That's a positive. But it's just a single wall design. So I'm not positive if I want to get this super soaker wet. Um, time will tell, but there's definitely some other options out there that have uh, a little more rain security. I do like the side vents though. Venting is not used as often as I believe it should be. These are very simple. And like I said, if it was was really windy or really rainy, um, this probably isn't going to cut it. Now, if you live in a dry environment, this will probably be a great option. But if you're looking to go do a bunch of stuff in relation to rain, snow, high winds maybe. I'm not sure if this is gonna work for you, with, especially with precipitation. As far as what this was really made for, the uh, Slumber Shack 4 is definitely is if you have a cab. Uh, as you can see here, this kinda goes down, even with my bed rack with a uh, case over on the side there, it goes down. You can see this is pretty tall. Comes down here. so. Give a cab, this is really for you because you're going to have the, the full height of this. Um, this little attachment to the slumber shack. Um, if you don't, I mean, even if you just have a bed rack, um, you, it's going to come down even further if you don't have anything on top. Um, and I'm not huge into the uh, the bed top or the, what the rooftop tents. Uh, it's super expensive, super pain in the butt as far as. If you got a spot, you got to leave if you want to go get stuff or go 
switch places. Whereas if you have a regular tent, you can just keep it there and claim your spot. That's the main purpose. And the main thing I do not like about rooftop tents. Um, so, that's one thing I will say about this Slumber Shack. It is definitely made for cabs. Now when it comes to the tarp, as far as the construction, I mean, nice bar tacks over here. You can see, definitely reinforced in the corners. Nice grommets, they look like they're brass. They're nice, to, nice and good to go. Really like the uh, construction of this tarp. I do like this, this tarp a lot. This roadhouse tarp, definitely worth the money in my opinion. I would get that and get you a little bit better of a tent and then just put the tent under the tarp. You'll be good to go. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Here's a quick look at these uh, two items. Uh, until next time. Later.